As a US Army veteran, I thought this would be a great opportunity to give back to the Wounded Warrior Project. So what we're gonna be doing, guys, is we're gonna be doing a giveaway. Do not miss out on your opportunity. All the products on the website, like this shirt right here, you guys can pick up. As a matter of fact, every $1 spent on the truckmasterdiesel.com website is one automatic entry in to win this restored GMC Duramax diesel. We'll see you guys over there. Don't miss out. Hey guys, so here we go. Package just came in the mail and I already had went, went ahead and unboxed it. Now, guys, we're gonna be doing this for the Victory Max, guys, the red Duramax that we're working on here at Ryan's Diesel Service in Kodiak Truck in Wisconsin. We're really excited about that, but huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts. We went ahead and picked up a set of tow mirrors for that, as you guys can see. Now, you may be a little confused because, of course, we have these caps that are just laying here, and, you know, the Victory Max is gonna be red, not white. But I asked them, I requested for them to send me a set of paintable caps for these actual tow mirrors. So that's what you're seeing, guys right there they're pretty cool these are going to be going to the sns automotive body shop and if i can show you guys this really quick this is going to be your switchbacks right here and i requested the strip leds which is going to be really nice i have the same exact set on both of my other duramaxes as well as the high output reverse lights as you guys can see right here that's going to be brighter than a flashlight when you put it in reverse it's going to be really cool also, you're gonna have your turning signals. Now, we didn't go with the heated tow mirrors, but overall, it's gonna be really nice. Of course, the telescope's out for you know your viewing this as far as how long that trailer's gonna go out. It's gonna be really cool. But guys, we're gonna to continue to work here in the shop. As you guys can see, we have the block all the way down to nothing. We also have it completely, uh, I went ahead and uh, decked everything down on the block. And we have the heads in route actually here in the next hour, so we're gonna be studying it. So a lot going on here. See you guys later. Thanks. Welcome back. And this will be our very first upgrade at the house on the Victory Max. I know we talked about it when Mark and Ryan were at the house that these mirrors are going to Mark and Ryan. So I'm going to be next day airing them to them. So it's going to be out their shop. So the very first person, they can make it to Kodiak Truck, Ryan's Diesel Service in North Prairie, Wisconsin. I'll leave the address in the description below. Can have those for free. First person that get, makes it to your shop can keep them. <laughs> that would be cool. That sounds we like a challenge. Yeah. Would you guys be cool with that? Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. The first person that can make it to Kodiak Truck, Ryan's Diesel Service at their shop, gets that those mirrors right there for free. <laughs> you're not responsible for any speeding tickets you get. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think your phone's going to blow off off the hook. <laughs> and you will be disqualified if there's a body on your hood when you show up. <laughs> Just making that clear. They're so, going to have a line out their front door. For one set of mirrors? <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and install the Boost Auto Parts mirrors today. You know, every single one of my trucks, the Wife Max, the Victory Max, your truck, sorry. Her truck. We're noticing that for once. Um, we're gonna be installing these on the Victory Max. Again, all three trucks now, all three Duramaxes will have Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors. By far the best tow mirrors on the aftermarket world. And the reason why I say that is because one, made in the US of A, two, great company, and three, they don't wobble when you drive. Because I know when you buy these aftermarket, Tow mirrors, uh, most of you guys complain about the, you know, flapping in the wind and stuff like that. We're also going to be leveling these out today as well. We're not going to drag that one out. So I'll show you guys how we do that exactly. So what you're looking at here, guys, is we have the paintable caps. Thanks to Robert from SNS Automotive in McGuanago, Wisconsin. Um, did a great job painting these for us. Boost Auto Parts actually gives out paintable caps as well, and that's what we went with. We have the electric power mirrors. Now it's not electric folding in electric extend or telescope. And then right here, guys, we have the high output reverse lights. So the wife and I are gonna go ahead and wire these up. I'm not gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. By the way, I'll leave a link in the description. Another one, gosh, another like. I'll leave <laughs> another link in the description of a video that I did, a tutorial how to install video. If you guys are interested in learning how to wire this up, but it's extremely boring, so I'm not gonna do that to you guys. We'll go ahead and do the transformation right now from the old style tow mirrors to the new style tow mirrors. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Dude, this would look uh, sweet on your truck too, actually. I know, I keep thinking I should put these mirrors on my truck. Can't. I can't. No. This is tough, this is tough. You guys are, <laughs> you guys are in this with me, by the way, just saying. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get to it. All right.
All right, if you come over here, guys, you're gonna have these little clips right here that you're gonna have to undo. It's kind of tricky when you can't see what you're doing. Just like that. So the reason why I'm doing this outside is because I can't fit the truck in my garage. It's taller than this one right here. Seriously, Sierra's bigger. But I did crank my uh, torsion bars down so I can fit it in the garage. Yeah, and I've done this a couple times. I do. <laughs> Hit the paint. This is going to Ryan shop. Let's uh, let's hope no one kills somebody over these. <laughs> All right, so these are definitely gonna get boxed up. So let's go ahead and get the next mirror on. Installing these are always the easy part. It's the wiring that's not the fun part. They are in. That was quick. What do you think, honey? You seen it? Is it slanting? Wow. I, I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, it's up. It's slanted up. All right, we'll go ahead and fix that. But Typical. let's let's go ahead and get these uh, the wiring done right now, and then uh, we'll get back to you guys. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these two right here on the top, and then we're gonna go ahead and run. Uh, I'm gonna go with two spacers, two six millimeter washers on each one on the top. What it's going to do, guys, is it's going to bring the angle down with this mirror because naturally the body line right up here, if you can pan up here, it's actually slanted with the door panel right here. So when it's slanted like that, it's going to pick this mirror up and bat wing it out. That's what I don't like about these classic body styles. So with that being said, we're going to change the angle up a little bit. So we're going to install two six millimeter washers, one here and then two, well, two here and then two here, and then go ahead and push these back in. And again, guys, it's going to drop this mirror down just a little bit, just enough to where it's gonna look nice and level. So let's go ahead and do that right now. This is relatively pretty easy. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and just remove these completely on the top. It's easy for me because I got little tiny, you know, little tiny baby hands, I guess. <laughs> and then you wanna go ahead and almost not take these off, but you see where it exposes a really good gap right there. Big time. So then you have plenty of room for activities. What I do is I take uh, two washers, sandwich them together, just like such. And then I wanna go ahead and just put it right behind there. And then take this bolt right here, put it right through. Just like that, hold it in place. Like that. Sandwich two. Just enough that I can pin it right there. Got to keep pressure on it. Just like that. And then after that, we'll go ahead and just uh, start tightening all these. And you guys will see how this levels it out. So it angles it down like that. And then turn it over. Tighten on this side. And I don't want to run them home completely. Basically what I want to do once I do that, and guys use a 6.10 mil because these things right here, I'll tell you what, you use a 12 point, you will, you will strip that out. I believe it's a 3 8 could be wrong. All right, so that's it. We'll go ahead and put the caps on and we are done. So there you guys have it. That is the blinking switchback when the actual blinkers are on. And that's the inside right there. There we go. Reverse lights work. And then that's what it looks like when the running lights are on. Looks pretty cool. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. In fact, I think you should put the red caps on your on your truck. What I do you think? totally agree with you. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. On top of it, honey, Yeah. we've never leveled the mirrors out before on I know. It's funny. This is leveled out before yours was even. And your wife, Max, truck is leveled yeah. out. Yours is like on the back burner for real. <laughs> well, cool. Okay. Well, guys, that's the after of it. It looks amazing. Make sure you guys check out Boost Auto Parts. Awesome stuff. Okay, leveled, done, check. Looks good. Second modification. Awesome. All right. Hey, uh, when we're done with the video, go down in the description below, click on the link, go ahead and pick up a sticker, shirt, whatever, key tag, tons of different types of key tags. Something for everybody on that website. Pick something up. 
Again, one dollar is one entry. So if you guys pick a pick up a key tag, um, that's thirteen entries. You know what I mean? Don't miss out. Yeah, don't miss out. It's gonna move really quickly. So that's it. That's all the time that we have. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.